This show is brought to you by Reese's Puffs. So, uh, yeah, earlier today, uh, as usual, it seems like now, I went to the pet store looking for really anything that would be good in any of my tanks. And I saw a few saltwater fish that I was thinking about getting. I, I was trying to decide between, like, which one I actually wanted to get. But I decided on getting a Royal Grama, a fish that I've actually always wanted to keep, uh, even before I got into keeping saltwater. They are half purple and half yellow. Pretty dang cool little fish, and they're only about 25 bucks, at least this one was. They're also pretty peaceful fish. Fish, uh, so they should do very well in here with the clownfish. Which are these two little dudes right here? The two frostbite clownfish who have been just absolutely loving the tank. There's our cleaner shrimp right down there and the big snails are out and all that. Yeah, but uh, we got the Royal Grandma. And I mean, just check this guy out. I mean, he is so bright and colorful. Just wait. Just wait until we get him into the tank under the, under the light. Jonathan Ricketts got the fish picture in the last video correct, which was a Leparinus. This is the fish picture for this video. Be the first one to comment down below the correct name of that fish. If your comment is pinned, then you will get a shout out in the next video. No reason to talk any longer, so I'm gonna go and acclimate this guy for about 20 minutes or so, and uh, the clownfish are for sure gonna check him out right now. He was in a tank with a whole bunch of other fish, and I noticed that his tail fin was a little bit nipped, like just slightly, so it should heal up in here. But yeah, look at the clownfish. They're checking them out right now. And like I said, they should do should do very, very well with them. Anyways, while that guy's acclimating, this tank right here is looking very well. And oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I actually just realized that I forgot the black background for this. I was going to get the black background for this tank and also the flower orange tank today. Uh, because I actually forgot it last weekend. And now I forgot it this weekend. So that's two weeks in a row. Yeah. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, it's looking great, crystal clear and all that. And in about... In about three weeks from now, I'm going to give it about a few more weeks uh, to go and let it cycle and all that. We're going to start adding uh, the African cichlids in this tank. These fish, of course, are doing great. All those tetras right there. And there are the Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's right there. And the eel in his little cave right there. Uh, the two plecos that are back there, one on the bottom and one back there. And the, owl, and the glow rainbow shark, I should say, is right over here. I just saw him. Yep, there he is. And he's been doing great in here as well. So yeah, all those fish are doing great. Jack Dempsey and the bitcher actually did a water change on their tank earlier today. We're going to turn the light back on. Oh, and there we go. By the way, if you ever notice that your light in your tank is looking like dimmer than it was a few weeks ago, just check the glass. Like check the glass that's up under your light. If your light is like mine, and yeah, you know you have the glass right there and the light on top of it. Check your glass, and I guarantee you the reason why it's like that is because it's got algae growing on the on the water side of the glass. All you gotta do is take your glass off and scrape the algae off and it should be, you know, as bright as it was. Convicts, doing great. They are uh, really starting to grow now, which I'm really pleased with how they're actually getting along with each other now. You know, normally, they, they used to cannot just do this, like, just be right beside each other pretty much. I mean, they would just tear each other up, especially the female. The female would always pester the crap out of the male. That's, that's the male right there, the darker one. Females, the lighter one with the little reddish pinkish stomach right there but hopefully pretty soon they will breed I just don't know really when like I said they're still pretty small oh yeah and by the way the cleaner shrimp as I said when we got him in the video that once he like started getting used to tanking all that and used to me he should come out and, like really go crazy when I put the food in there and this guy absolutely goes berserk when I put food in but later in this video I am gonna feed this tank some mysis shrimp which is what I normally do feed these guys the clownfish absolutely love them uh, the hermit crabs start going crazy and I'm gonna show you just how crazy that cleaner shrimp is when I put the shrimp in here but can you see that right there you see that glass like lifting up right there you see that's a problem you see it kind of like cracked right there I was kind of worried about this with the tank uh, I was kind of worried about like this table not being strong enough when we did set this tank up on the table which is the flower orange tank there he is right there I was actually doing a water change on this tank earlier today I'm gonna drain it a little bit more because actually today we're actually gonna be putting his tank onto another actual like table that's actually like strong enough but this guy's actually been making craters in the sand even though there is not any other fish in there he's doing it for territorial purposes it's just it's just what a flower horn does it's just their it's just their nature this guy absolutely went berserk earlier today when I was doing a water change on this trying to like attack the vacuum and all that but when I put my finger in there this guy absolutely tore the crap out of me. Uh, check this out. So I'm actually in the midst of doing a water change on my flower orange tank right now, and I've been noticing that he's been digging craters in the sand lately. And as soon as I put the vacuum in there, he started just attacking, going wild, crazy, going after it because I was in his territory, and he literally 
just drew blood on me. It's not a very big cut, but that cut right there, that little slice, he just freaking sliced me with his teeth. When he grabs onto me, he just like jerks, like trying to tear skin off. He's going absolutely berserk right now. So yeah, that guy right there literally drew blood on me. He was going berserk. He would, he was not having it, alright? Me messing up his critters right there. So he'll, of course, make them back while once we get his tank back filled up and uh, onto his new table, I guess you would say. So it is about time now to go and put our Royal Grama into his or her new tank. Alright, we got him right here in the bag. I'm just gonna grab this guy with my hand. Alright, we got him right there. And there he is. Look at that guy. So bright and colorful. That is one really pretty fish. Oh, clownfish checking him out. I just noticed it's a new fish in the tank and uh, yeah, look at him. Not trying to harm him or nothing, just, you know, checking him out. Look at that guy. That is one really, really pretty fish right there though. Well, like I said, the clownfish are just checking him out. That's all they're doing. It's just, you know, curiosity, just checking out a new fish that's in the tank. Not showing any signs of aggression, so that is very, very good. And by the way, I did want to say that's probably going to be the last thing that I put in this tank for at least a good little while. If I get anything else near uh, pretty soon, it'll probably just be like a goby or something that'll just kind of stay, you know, perched up on the rock or in the sand. But that guy has found a cave. I just noticed where he went. He is back up there inside of that little rock right there and kind of like notched up in there. You can barely barely see the purple on him. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see him, but he is back up in there. But he'll eventually get to the tank, and I'll show you guys to him in the morning, and also, we'll go and feed the fish in the morning. The tiny pea puffers over here are doing great. Look at those guys right there. These two guys are the main ones that, like, stay up here in this corner, like, just begging for food 24-7. And that guy right there is, uh, I believe he is the biggest one out of the four. And the baby beta, what I do believe is, uh, a female beta, even though they had it labeled as a male beta. Sit. So it could turn out to be a male, but I do believe that is a female beta. She's been doing great here, and I've just been feeding her like mice and shrimp, and she absolutely loves them. I'll actually feed her some uh, later on in the video when we go and feed the clownfish. But a few months ago, I was actually talking about building a guppy slash molly pond slash, you know, platy pond. Uh, but I decided to do something a little bit different, a little bit, like, simpler. I decided to get one of the 20-gallon, like, pond bowls at uh, Lowe's. It's kind of like a patio bowl, but also kind of not. Kind of like how we like have a pool pond, but it's also kind of not a pool pond, which is, uh, yep, right over there. So yeah, I'm going to get that in probably a few weeks from now, and it'll be like right here on my porch, and I'll probably just have like some guppies and a few mollies and platies in there. It'll be, it'll be a pretty cool little mini pond. So it's now the next morning, the clownfish out and about, ready for some food. There's a the shrimp right there. The Royal Grandma has actually moved to this side, and you can actually see him a little bit better. He's up in there. He's still pretty dang hard to see. See that? You can kind of see a glimpse of him, but he's back up in there. And uh, yeah, we're going to put some mice strip in here, and he might might not come out. He's only been in the tank for about 15 hours or so. So I don't know if he'll actually eat or not, but uh, we're about to find out. So, got some unthawed mice shrimp right here. We're going to drop them right on into the tank. And uh, the clownfish are for sure going to go wild. Look at them. That's pretty typical, but let's see if the Royal Grama will come out. I'll drop, I'll drop a few more on in. All right, and watch the shrimp. He's gonna start going going crazy. The crab back there. And uh, the shrimp just hopped right off his rock. Oh, there he is. Oh, Royal Grandma just came out and got one. Oh, coming back out. Got it. Well, that right there. Oh, back out. That is definitely really, really good to see him eat. There's a shrimp back there. Look at him. Going absolutely berserk. Look at the shrimp. Look at him. That guy is wild. Royal Grandma is really, really eating very well. That is, that's very well. It's going right back up under the rocks, but that's totally fine as long as he's coming out and eating. Well, I'm gonna let those guys finish eating and I'm gonna go feed the rest of the mice and shrimp to some other fish. So uh, yeah, we actually kind of like redid my room and uh, the flower orange tank is about to go right up there on that. We're actually about to put a board on the top of it that kind of like blends in with it. And uh, we're about to switch flower orange off of that table and onto that table. Beta sink is right here now. We're about to feed the beta. All right, we got some mice shrimp right here. I'm gonna put them right on in. Oh, oh, look at him. Going in between the rocks. By the way, baby betas actually grow very, very fast, so it won't be very long before this guy is actually all grown up. Got some right here for the convicts. Watch these guys go. Look at them. Look at them. Those guys just go crazy over anything that I put into the tank. 
Now once I'm done feeding all the other fish that actually eat the Meister shrimp, I come over here and dump it into this tank. Because uh, these guys can absolutely eat. Now it does kind of make a white cloud when you dump it in, but that does dissipate. And I just dump that right on in, and these guys just go to town and watch them. And I promise you, this is nowhere near too much for these guys. These guys absolutely love these things, and they would just go around and pick it all up with the autumn. And now, there's actually food that can get down here to like the eel, rainbow shark, and the plecos and stuff like that. But yeah, all that right there will be gone in about two minutes, literally. Like, look at all of it. It's basically all going up here in an actual water column. Look at the Jack Dempsey's. These guys tear anything up that I put into the tank. So yeah, those guys right there can absolutely eat. Anyways, that is pretty much it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Comment any video suggestions that you guys have down below. And with that being said, you guys, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.